Okay, then let's take a start. Section 2. Now we have multiple choice questions in section 2 and let me tell you multiple choice questions may appear in any section of IELTS. Never think if you see multiple choice in part 1 and you say well there is the new pattern. Right? Two of my students, they've done that. They saw multiple choice in part one. They said, okay, this is the new pattern. Sir taught me old pattern. So now I can't find my way out. So remember, multiple choice questions I've seen in Cambridge IELTS books uh, in part one, two, three, four. So they can be anywhere. It's got nothing to do with the pattern. IELTS has same standard pattern. And this pattern's been going on for around 20 years or more than that, 22 years. They have the same pattern, okay? Now, let's see. Uh, section two, questions 11 to 14, and we have multiple choice questions, and through these four questions, I'll give you the core concept of multiple choice questions. In multiple choice questions, your success depends on finding the traps. Not looking for the right answer, no. There is one right answer, but there are two traps, three options, right, A, B, C. So they will talk about, they almost talk about all three options. Two options are discussed negatively or oppositely. Just mind these words. Two options are discussed negatively or oppositely. One option is discussed positively and that is your answer. So sometimes uh, the other options which are wrong, they use the same wording, but they only use not. They only use nor. They only use, we considered, we considered, we thought, we wanted to. Or they use the wrong options in the question. They make a question of that. And then the answer is no, right? So I'll just tell you all these things. Question number 11. The next event <clears throat> at the hotel will be. Next event will be. Now, whatever the last event is, that will not be the answer. Whatever the current event is, that will not be the answer. The event is the next event. Now, for the next event, they can use the word coming event, upcoming event. Or they say, tomorrow we have an event. Or in the next two days, we have an event. So anything like that. Now, what are the events? Trade fair, wedding, and party. Whenever you get multiple choice questions in part one or part two, you usually get short options. When it is in part three, then options are long, and in part four also long options. So let's see, question number 11, please. Uh, and one more thing, A, B, C, three options. These options will not be discussed in order. They will not speak about A, then B, then C. They might start from C, then they will go to A, and then they will come to B. An answer may appear anywhere. It can be the first option they discuss, the middle option, or the last option. Okay, so let's see. You will hear a hotel manager talking to her staff about the arrangements for an event to be held at the weekend. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all feeling okay after the activities of the last week or so. I know you've all been working very hard recently, and we've been exceptionally busy, especially with the wedding last weekend and the trade fair straight after that. And now we have only three days to prepare for the birthday party this weekend. See that? <laughs> and did you notice how last week wedding and a trade fair right after that? So if you denied both, you are left with the right answer. And you should do one thing. Tick the right option and cross the wrong option. If you successfully cross one of those, success rate will be 50-50. 50-50 tukka bhi lag jayega. Okay, yeah, so you should do that. So the correct answer is party, and uh, the order in which they spoke, that was B, A, C. Yes. First they discussed B, then A, and then C. Now, question number 12. The number of guests will be, it's a technical question, number of guests will be less than 50. Any number that they say less than 50, 49, 25, 20, or less than 50, that is option A. B, from 50 to 100 means between 50 and 100. It can be 70, 80, or up to 100. 100 is included. And last is C, more than 100. For more than 100, they might say above 100. Now, how do they talk about it? They, they might say like this, that uh, although we've got sitting capacity for more than 100 people, 
But this party is a medium-sized party. First, they wanted to invite 50 people, but now they are not sure about it, so the number of guests may vary between 50 and 100. That is option B. So like this they talk, okay? Let's see. The events recently have gone extremely well, and the hotel is beginning to get a very good reputation. So we need to keep it up. At the moment, we don't have exact numbers of guests, and though we usually only cater for groups of less than 50, we will have quite a few more than that. So, as I said, not sure of numbers, but of course we won't go over the maximum of 100. See? All right. You, you are so innocent, huh? <laughs> Okay, correct answer is C. Just a second, just let me catch the thief. No, it's A. No, it's B. Absolutely, it's B. Yeah, I'm going to play this audio again, don't worry. I'm here, I'll satisfy you all, so please listen. The events recently have gone extremely well, and the hotel is beginning to get a very good reputation, so we need to keep it up. At the moment, we don't have exact numbers of guests, and though we usually only cater for groups of less than 50... We usually only cater for groups less than 50. We usually. But about number of guests, she said, we are not sure. So A is the wrong option. Cross it here. Just a little cross at the end of A. Now we are left with B and C. So... We will have quite a few more than that. So... As I said, not sure. We will have quite more than that. Now, less than 100, but she said we will have quite more than that. Quite more than that means from 50 to 100. Now, why C is wrong option? Now, listen to this. Sure of numbers, but of course, we won't go over the maximum of 100. We want W O N apostrophe T. That means will not. We won't go over 100. We won't go over 100. More than 100, not possible. So A and C, they are the wrong options. And again, I tell you, sometimes right option can be confusing. If you eliminate wrong options, you are left with the right answer. So correct answer is B. Question number 13. Guests will start arriving at... Now, very confusing sometimes they say, uh, usually guests arrive at 7.15, but this time they're going to arrive earlier than that and all that. By the time the guests are going to start coming, that will be your answer. There are three times, 7.15, 7.30 and 7.45. Clear? Okay, so let's see guests. And for guests, they can use the word first people. First people are the guests, they start coming, right? First people will, will start arriving at 7.30 or whatever, right? Let's see. But it's likely that we will need all of you to work this weekend. So if any of you can't, please let me know as soon as possible. Right, so what time will the event start? Well, the invitation says guests should arrive between 7.30 and 7.45, but our experience is that there are always a few who like to arrive early, so we'll expect the first people at 7.15. As the numbers are quite large... Okay, we'll expect the first people at 7.15. So, they said between 7.30 to 7.45 according to the card. But our experience and all that, so that's why it's option A. And the order in which they spoke, that is B, C, A. Now, question number 14, entertainment will be, uh, again, very interesting. There are three entertainments. Do bande mukar ge, ek reh gaya. That will be the right answer. The pehle magician ne aana tha, lekin uski wedding anniversary aa gai. Phe comedian ne aana tha, wo kahi aur engage ho gaya, okay? And abhi jo hai, wo live band aega. Whatever, whatever, right? So we got to see entertainment will be the final entertainment. If they say we were expecting a magician, we were expecting, right? We considered inviting a comedian. We considered, we thought, right? So the person who is final, that'll be the answer, right? 
Food will be served at around 8.30 and then, depending on how long the meal takes, the entertainment will start about two hours later. Now, for this, we were expecting a live band for the occasion, which is always fun. But apparently, this has been cancelled due to illness. So, the hosts know someone who is a comedian who will be replacing the band. We had hoped that the resident magician who worked here through the summer would be able to help out, but they weren't keen on that idea. Comedian, well done. See that they talked about magician. They wouldn't come with that idea. They wouldn't come with that idea. And live band, there is some problem. Someone is ill over there. Good. Now you understand? So long options. I mean, methodology is same. Practice, 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 and you will be fine.